Today we are checking out Altamonte, this modern farmhouse built by Toll Brothers in San Juan Capistrano. After entering, we're going to take a left and another left where we'll find our powder room. I like that the builder used this natural and warm oak flooring which ties really well with the white tiles and herringbone wallpaper. To complement everything, we have a matching frame mirror, brushed nickel faucet, and a pedestal sink. Taking a step back out, we can see our coat closet and a mini fridge, some storage space, and a small sink at the end of the hall. This room here can be used as an office or optional guest suite. Again, I'm a big fan of the use of these natural, refreshing colors from the flooring to the wall paneling. As you can see here, we get a lot of natural light coming in through the windows and the optional door. And what are your thoughts on this framed out TV? I personally like it. Let's make our way out and across the hall where we will enter our first bedroom. I can appreciate the details in the feature wall, the two-tone paint, this backlit coffered ceiling, and the addition of the wicker chandelier. This room does come with a bathroom. I really like the fully tiled shower using a blend of natural looking stones and geometric shape. The vanity features an undermounted sink, brushed nickel faucet, and hardware with shaker style cabinets which all ties together to create simplicity and elegance. Here's one more look at our bedroom and our six panel sliding closet as we make our way back out. Let's get to the exciting stuff. Love the floating staircase, the mix of chandeliers, and our built-in Carrera marble wet bar. Let's start with the great room. We have a luxurious linear gas fireplace, this natural stacked stone veneer wall with the recessed built-in TV. I enjoy the paneling and the ceiling which matches those found on the wall and baseboard. Are you hungry? Because it's time to make our way past the informal seating area to our kitchen. If you know me, I love anything backlit, so this reverse tray ceiling is super neat. The triple industrial pendant lighting re-emphasizes the rustic touches throughout the home, and you cannot go wrong with the large white quartz waterfall island. Here's a look at our dining area, the floating shelves, Carrera backsplash, and abundance of cabinets. If you notice, the builders did a different colored countertop here from the island, and that really helps keep the kitchen from looking too sterile. Check out this chef grade stove. From this view, we can see our sink with the front apron, two stainless steel dishwashers, and a use of different colored cabinets to really break up the colors. We have a built-in refrigerator, and as we walk back towards the corner of the kitchen, we can see our microwave, warmer, and our walk-in pantry. Here's another look at our kitchen and the surrounding spaces. Next to our kitchen, we have access to our garage, some extra storage, and this bench space. Oh yeah, welcome to paradise. This backyard offers a lot, such as this gas fire pit, plenty of seating space, and of course you cannot miss this above ground acrylic pool. Looks like we have no sharks in the water today. We have a beautiful outdoor dining area with a built-in barbecue, and I really like that it's covered, providing shade on sunny days like today. Let's head back in now and check out the rest of the house. We have a floating staircase here with the glass railing, which is definitely a modern touch. Upstairs, we have a catwalk, and to the left of it, we have our bonus room. This is a great space to be used as an extra office, game room, or lounge area as seen here. Making our way down the hall, we have our laundry room in this first space to the right. This room comes with dual front loading washer and dryer, a sink, and a decent amount of storage space. As we keep going down the hall, we get to a bathroom that features a fiberglass tub, a fully tiled triple tone wall, frameless mirror, and a single vanity. This bathroom connects with a bedroom separated by a small closet. I do like this geometric accent wall and this super unique fan. And that reminds me of a tip I would give to my clients. 
that sometimes small intentional design touches can make a huge difference in the overall mood of a room. As we exit the room and turn right, we reach another room that is separated by these linen closet. This room is sized similarly to our previous one. It does include a walk-in closet and bathroom. What are your thoughts on this tiled wall that mimics distressed wood and this hexagon flooring? Personally, I like the flooring. I don't know about the tile though, but I do think it's neat that it matches this accent wall in the bedroom. Pat, where's the master bedroom? We're getting there, I promise. We just need to walk all the way out and across the catwalk. And here we are, the master. Big fan of this rustic circular chandelier keeping up the farmhouse theme. I like the navy accent wall, the warm colored beams, and the built-ins. The master bedroom connects to a large balcony, featuring a linear gas fireplace, space for a TV, and just check out that view with the ocean in the distance and your amazing pool down below. As we walk past our bedroom, down the hall, we reach our walk-in closet, which might as well be a boutique clothing store. This room has a mini island, a chandelier, again with the backlit shelving, just incredible. Across the walk-in closet, we do get this area with some storage and floating shelves. And here's our master bathroom. We have two large vanities separated by this freestanding tub and glass shower. I really like the flooring. And if you look carefully, we have a book match marble shower wall which means the builder carefully aligned the pattern on the slab to create the design. <laughs> Here's my happy dance and a look at our water closet. It's worth mentioning that there is a small balcony connected to the bathroom and that will do it for this house tour. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe for more goodies and until next time, have an awesome one.